Hey guys, it is Gosto TV Africa News and I'm super excited to bring you greetings from the Met Gala 2024. Thank you for all you do and we hope that you continue to stick with us as we bring you all the juicy news from the world of entertainment. Let's get to it. The Met Gala wasn't always that high profile event with global visibility as we have today. It began in 1948 when fashion publicist Eleanor Lamba decided to invite New York's high society for a fundraising dinner with tickets priced at $50 each. I mean, $50 was a lot of money in 1948, so calm down. Well, the annual Met Gala took place at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City on Monday, May 6th. Also known as the fashion's biggest night, the event, like every other year, saw celebrities in outfits spanning the range from beautiful to bizarre, inspired to inexplicable. Chris Hemsworth and Elsa Pataki. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they look fly and well dressed, but it doesn't really speak of sophistication. I mean, the weirder the better, right? However, they look great together, and his shoes are fire, by the way. For Misha, it just seemed like okay, we're running late. Just grab something and meet me at the door kind of outfit. Maybe they take their time next time. Hopefully. I mean, I mean, fashion is is a sense of waiting you like and waiting I like. But then again, I feel like it was a little too drabby for me. But then again, they look great together, which is the most important thing. And I hope that they felt comfortable on the red carpet. But we as critics will always judge. We we'll always have our say. Well, bad bunny. Whoops, Bad Bunny came with the badness. I mean, what could be more sophisticated than this well-laid and put-together outfit? And the headgear? <laughs> Quite a piece of art to say the least. Come on. I can't even describe in words how it makes me feel. For me, it just screams, hey, I'm in the freaking room. My name is Bad Bunny. And I'm rating this outfit 8 over 10 because for me, it does the job. Kim Kardashian. Kim K never puts a foot wrong, trust me. Aside being in the news for the good, the bad, and the ugly, Kim K is undoubtedly a fashion icon. Everyone can attest to this. I mean, I can't say exactly what happened at the Met Gala 2024 because it seemed a little bit too rushed for me. I mean, fashion is in the eyes of the beholder, but what I'm beholding here is not. Is looking like, can we wrap up this event? I need to go speak to Kanye for a bit. You know, that's, that's, that's the message he was giving me, you know. She even said that she threw in her boyfriend's sweater and complained about her hair being a little untidy. So, I mean, is that an attempt to excuse herself from the worst dress of the night? Probably, maybe. Zendaya, my baby. Zendaya. I think she understood the assignment in my opinion. And finally, we have someone not giving us the burial feel. Every Met Gala, everybody wants to look like it's a burial ceremony and everybody's all clad in black and some weird ass outfit. I'm like, Woo, what's going on? We are in a celebratory mood. What's going on? For me, I felt like it was perfectly laid. It was a perfectly laid floral appearance. Everything was well thought out and I applaud the designer for putting up a great, great outfit. So well done, Zendaya. In my books, I want to rate this outfit 8.5 over 10. The Stray Kids! Stray Kids didn't come looking like Stray Kids. I mean, they made the Met Gala like, look like their home. This is what I call easy sophistication. I mean, there's not much to say. They ate. Each one of them with a dripping unique style but a sense of togetherness in their outfit. There's not one person trying to outshine the other. So kudos to the Stray Kids for that. Kudos, kudos to them for that. Alton Mason came with a rather weird looking bedroom piece of attire. I mean, what do I know? It's giving a consciousness? Maybe. Well, that's for you to decide. So tell me what you think of Alton Mason's outfit. But for this one, I don't come on my hand though. Sabrina Harrison with a Davido inspired dress. A little bit of time pieces here and there. Looked great in my opinion. It was just oozing class, 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 class. And for this, because it's somehow connected to Afrobeats, I would say I'll give it a 9 over 10. I'm a little biased here because obviously I'm African and I'm Nigerian. So, 9 over 10 in my opinion. Well done, Sabrina Harrison. Leah Mitchell, big ups to the star for putting up a show. What a moment of ease and class on the red carpet. Whoops. I mean, she came in rocking the baby bomb so graciously and glamorous. It's giving baby shower with that blue outfit. But I mean, she's carrying a baby in her belly. So what do you expect? Class, in my opinion, rocked it with grace and style, ease, not looking stressed, everything perfectly laid. 
She's giving us all the beauty, 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 beauty side of Leah Michelle. And of course, we, we're here to just take everything in. So congratulations for looking so fly with your baby bump. Ben Simmons. To be honest, I think I need to access Ben Simmons' playlist because everything about him is just like class. Smooth, 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 smooth to say the least because rocking a timepiece bag and a class and suited piece, <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Classy. I mean, for me, it's just timeless. So shout out to Afrobeats again. Sorry, shout out to Davido for the inspiration. Sorry. I mean, shout out to Ben Simmons for whatever he did. <laughs> it was just pure, 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 pure class in my opinion. It looked really good. The colors are giving. I think that he really understood the assignment. Not to be all over the place, but well, well, well laid. Properly laid outfit. So, in my opinion, I think I'll give that an 8.5 over 10. JLo, well, one thing about JLo, she will always show skin. Don't we all love skin? Well, some of us love skin. So, well, JLo served and left no crumbs. So, you guys, go have a feast with a perfectly laid dress shiny piece of attire looking really gracious there's no way that she'll walk past you and you will not recognize that somebody has just passed you and that is jlo jlo ladies and gentlemen jlo nine over ten in my opinion simple classy show skin perfect 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 assignment understood that's how you show up to a met gala well done congratulations hold up let's talk about rebecca ferguson for a minute I mean, I was a bit confused in the instant and boom, the outfit opens up to a whole new different vibe. For me, it just feels like two worlds entwined in one. It was a moment of magic for me, to be honest. And I absolutely love the dress. I love the weirdness about it. I love the... It was just seamless in my opinion, but with a lot of craziness here and there. For me, it's just like, okay, I'm giving you something to think about. I want to put an impression in your head, something that you go home and you think, oh, I saw something tonight that actually made me feel like I was supposed to be at the Met Gala tonight. So well done to Rebecca Ferguson for coming out looking all glamorous at the Met Gala 2024. The Met Gala comes with its sweet little moments and we're glad to have shared a few of those moments with you. Tell us what you think about the outfit. Tell us the ones you're feeling the most and tell us the ones that you're like, oh, no, please, you shouldn't have been there at all. <laughs> And we'll be here in the comment section to answer you, to reply to all your comments. Please, please, please continue to subscribe. Tell your friends about Gusto TV Africa. Keep those comments coming. Keep the likes coming. Continue to share our content. And we're so, so, so appreciative of you. Thank you for all that you do for us. And we hope to catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.